Is that, you don't is know that yes or no if the laptop was yours. I don't have any yours. idea. I have no idea. So it could have been yours. Of course, certainly. It, 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 there could be a laptop out there that was stolen from me. There could be that I was hacked. It could be that it was the that it was Russian intelligence. It could be that it was stolen from me. So much for Russian disinformation. Hunter Biden's lawyers admitting that the contents of the infamous laptop are in fact real. And they are now calling on state and federal agencies to investigate the unauthorized access, claiming the first son is the victim of, quote, failed dirty political trick. Hunter's attorney insists that this does not confirm that the laptop is the president's son, just the data that's been spread widely. So the disclosure is a big black eye for the 51 former intel officials who dismissed the story as Russian disinformation right before the 2020 election. As uh, I and several of my former colleagues have pointed out publicly, that it does bear the hallmarks of Russian disinformation. To me, this is uh, just classic uh, textbook uh, Soviet-Russian uh, tradecraft at work. And so all of a sudden, two, two and a half weeks before the election, uh, this laptop appears somehow. Somehow. So then-presidential candidate Joe Biden used what those intel chiefs were saying to swat down questions about his own son. I still think that the stories from the fall about your son Hunter were rushing disinformation and a scare campaign, like you said. Yes, yes, yes. God love you, man. You, you're a one-horse pony. There's nothing to any of that. Nothing to any of that. It's all a smear. There are 50 former national intelligence folks who said that what this he's accusing me of is a Russian plan. And finally, there's the media who was quick to dismiss the laptop. For all we know, these emails are made up, or maybe some are real and others are fakes. We don't know. So we're supposed to believe that Hunter Biden in a drunken stupor dropped off his laptop. An ongoing Russian disinformation effort. Whether that meeting email, for example, is real in the midst of this, um, do you think stuff like that could just have been planted in there and be completely fake? And so we're supposed to believe, uh, as the famous phrase goes, that the contents of the laptop are real, but the laptop is not his. Jesse? Yeah, Hunter's like the guy that calls 911 and says, someone stole my drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Your drugs? <laughs> we were waiting months for Hunter to go on offense. We kept on hearing he was building this great legal team and he was going to start hitting back at his critics. So we're waiting. And then last night we get all these letters and the strategy is, I confess the laptop's <laughs> mine. And then 24 hours later he goes, actually, it's not. Never mind if it's someone else's. So he's saying they did hold 10% for the big guy. He did try to get his dad to fire the prosecutor, and he did take Chinese money. It's like OJ saying someone stole my knife. Oh, really, your knife, OJ? Oh, not my knife, just someone's knife. So let me get this straight. Hunter goes into the, well, not Hunter, maybe someone stole it, went into the laptop repair shop, gives the laptop, signs a document. It's a contract. It says, if you don't pick this thing up in 90 days, it's not yours anymore. Let me understand Hunter's defense. Hunter's saying he might have gone into the laptop repair shop, but the laptop repair shop guy was blind, so we can't confirm it was him. Or someone stole the laptop, brought it to the repair shop, forged Hunter's signature, and then forgot to pick it up. So someone stole the laptop that wasn't his, and he's saying, Daddy, 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 help me. He's like Karen. Remember those guys that get bounced from the bar in college? Don't you know who my father is? He is going to sue the pants off you. He's calling on his father's prosecutors to put yeah. his guys in jail. Yeah. Arrest the guys who stole the laptop that wasn't <laughs> mine. I've never seen anything like this, and this kills Joe Biden's defense. Joe Biden's been saying this whole time, we have an independent Department of Justice. It's totally independent. We don't get involved at all. <laughs> and then Hunter's asking his father's prosecutors to arrest the October <laughs> surprise guys. <laughs> yeah. They've been trying to keep Joe and Hunter separated for this entire scandal, and Hunter just made him a sandwich. Not good.
Judge, there are reports that the president's team did not agree with this legal strategy. You could imagine why. <laughs> well, first of all, I mean, the fact that they came out last night, Wednesday night, and they said that uh, the the uh, laptop does indeed belong to Hunter, but then today it's like, we're not so sure it belonged to him, but maybe the information belonged to him. I mean, so then who are you representing? You know, if you're not, if you're saying the laptop didn't belong to Hunter. But the, the, the craziest part, you have to pull back from all of this. Think about what we have witnessed. For two years, the White House denied the fact that the president even knew that his son had any business dealings in foreign countries. We didn't know whether or not that laptop, or we were told it had nothing to do with Hunter Biden. It was Russian disinformation. And who told us this? 51 intelligence agents, agencies, uh, agents, I should say, Five of them were former heads of the CIA. Brennan, Clapper, these are people who were given national security information access. These are people who were sold to the highest bidder or the highest ideology. And then the social media, the mainstream media, and everyone else blocked this information from us. This is the, this is pretty much what they do in third world countries. I mean, America has to step back and realize that we have been subjected to a fraud. He wants to talk about a dirty political trick. The only political trick was by this White House, this president, saying it's Russian disinformation. And by the way, what made them think that they could get away with it? What made them think they could get away with it is because they were all in on it. They did and get away now, with it. And now, and now, but not now, but now he wants to say I'm a victim. Hunter yeah, Biden wants to say, I'm a victim. you're a victim? You went around Europe with a vacuum cleaner, sucking up millions of dollars from China, the Ukraine, as, and, and Russia. You slept with every woman you could find, and you want to tell us that you're a victim? You got a diamond from the Chinese, $100,000 spending money. You're sleeping with everyone you want, but you're a victim. It's all been a fraud on us. What's the media to do now, Greg? Well, I think what they're going to do is they're going to shift the narrative so that we never said it was fake. We just said it was Russian disinformation. <laughs> and you know what? It can be both because Russians will use real material in disinformational ways. That's their way through this. So the laptop, you know, it might be hunters, but it's being exploited by the Russians. That's what we were talking about. That is what you're going to hear from every one of those 51 or 52 intel what? when they're going to be pulled before a committee because they have to be. Because we have to, we have to see what's behind that. What what was the coordination behind that? It's the same thing with the with the uh, the bearing of the laptop, where you saw this required collusion, tech industries, media, chamber of commerce, the Democratic Party to take out Trump. They did the same thing with these with with this like 51 group. They got them together. It's. Beginning to, I'm beginning to feel like maybe Tucker's onto something about Watergate. <laughs> I'm beginning to question everything. And to your point about him being a hunter, being a victim, if he had a theme song, it would be Sympathy for the Devil. Because he, <laughs> he, his play throughout all of this has been sympathy. And it's, it's yeah. obvious people in the throes of addiction deserve sympathy. But the problem with addiction and the problem with drug users and the problem with narcissism, you can't tell the difference. You can't tell the difference whether he's in the throes of addiction or the throes of his own narcissism. So I won't feel sorry for a guy who can't control himself, you know, when he's had so many opportunities to mm -hmm. change. Yep. And he, I mean, the guy didn't just sleep with his brother's wife. You know, he slept with the sister, the sister. of his brother's <laughs> wife. I don't even think CNN will hire him now. Yeah. And I, they, you see the media, you see the media freaking out about George Santos. Man, this guy, Santos couldn't hold Hunter's jock. Not that he should. I'm you surprised he's no, not no in the computer. Actually, no one should do that. Yes, exactly. No, just take this. No one, no one should do that. Geraldo, does his legal team not realize that this would open him up to discovery? Uh, Abby Lowell is a, a forceful, determined lawyer. He's yeah. as good as they come. So whatever yes. opening is there, he will, uh, he will exploit it. But uh, I want to just echo what the judge said about, uh, about John Brennan and James Clapper and uh, these other uh, men and women with whom we invested enormous respect and and, and trust as the head of our yeah. national intelligence. And to sign a document like that is clearly political. It is a ploy to distract people, uh, to just lead you away from the real story, which is the, the disintegration 
of the life of the, of the, the first son here. Uh, it is so sad to see uh, how his life just turned to such crap. How is it crap? Uh, Tell me, how is it crap? You, so you, no, he's got away with everything. He's selling art for half a million. He said he's he's banging everything. He's gonna. He's, he, he, if you think he stopped doing drugs, you're nuts. Oh, I, I agree that once a junkie, <laughs> always a junkie. Really? But what <laughs> happened to this guy is pathetic, and it reflects on his father. I hope that it what? weighs on his conscience. But let me just address very briefly the legal issue here. There is no doubt. But that computer was abandoned, as Jesse says. There's a 90-day contract he signed right. it. So the physical computer is clearly the property of the Mac repair guy and whatever whom uh, he made a deal. It is a much closer question as to the contents of the computer. Did he surrender his copyright when he surrendered his computer? Now, there's nothing about the contents in the, co in the contract. So I think that if, for instance, you wanted to do a documentary, a damning documentary about the president of the United States and his, his uh, dysfunctional family, the question is whether or not you can use that material. We are using it cavalierly. There he is smoking crack. There he is with the hooker. There he is doing this, that, and the other thing. But uh, the, whether or not you can do, do a commercial on it uh, is, uh, is another matter entirely. And it will be interesting to see how, with Abby Lowell leading the charge, he starts going after everybody now, everybody who has used it, uh, you know, in, in media and in entertainment and in comics and so forth. It'll be a, a fascinating. But the more he fights, the more he's going to keep this on page one. Page one, indeed. Well Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.